before we get started, I just want to quickly shout out Valley Pro for sending through a pallet of goodies through to Wadito. Blimey. 70 kilogram pallet full of kitten chemicals, accessories, brushes, towels, a new bucket, which I know a lot of you would be pleased about. All of which I'm sure you will see feature in upcoming episodes of the vlog. Valley Pro's details found down below. Fast approaching half past 10, Sunday the 17th of January. Mini Cooper uh, in hot chocolate that's been picked up in the next 10, 15 minutes. And then behind me, a Yaris GR. It's been a new car prep that's going next week sometime. But before we get into the main event, which is the Orange Bentley's return visit, we'll try and grab the owner's reaction for the Mini. Um, they're gonna be delighted. This was a new car prep for me five years ago. Uh, and since then, it's been very well cared for, looked after in the right, correct ways. But unfortunately, the owner had a mishap at the supermarket uh, involving a shopping trolley, which damaged one door, just the one. Since then, the vehicle has been back to the insurance repair center uh, four times. They've been without the car for many months over the last year. And the only panels on the car now, which are original on the boot lid, the roof, and the near side rear door. Everything else has had to be resprayed because the body shop's activities with damaging, scratching, putting dents in places, all off the back of one incident in the shopping trolley at the supermarket. So it's had a minor correction, sort out the sender mark, sort out the bucket trails, and it's back to where it was five years ago. So the owner's reaction coming up shortly, and then we'll take a look round this little beast. Could say that went kind of well. So moving on now quickly to the Yaris. As you can see, it's a pleasant paintwork and it's very, very, very nice. New car prep with Modesta BCO4 ceramic paint protection, BCO6 for the rims and the calipers, exhaust tips, um, interior work, fabric and leather protection. I'm not sure on the amount of numbers being made, but as I say, since it's launch, it's had a lot of hype, it's had a lot of press. It's the world's most powerful three-cylinder engine. It's a 1.6 turbocharged engine, producing 260 horse, four-wheel drive, six-speed manual, pretty light. It's a road needle running car. For me, the gloss black sections needed to be right. It's had a single stage polish and primed with Modesta's primer before the coatings, but the lights, the rear boot lid section here, Spoiler, and one or two bits at the front end. They had some more additional work to get them right, as well as a diffuser down here. That was my knees cracking. Uh, the roof is a wrap, carbon fiber matte looking wrap. There is a carbon fiber roof under there, but factory decided to fit a wrap on top. We should have now some pretty solid water behavior. Now things are cured. Satisfying. So that's that. I'm going to run this car outside. The sun's out. Get some footage. Get some pictures for the owner and for you guys. And then I'll pick up in the morning. First thing on the Bentley, which is being dropped off 8 a.m. Monday morning.
sign of buffer trailing kill the big lights yeah okay what I do remember is those blebs down here so if they're still there oh wow this whole side has been repainted this was bad before I can flash on screen now Well, I have to say it's a better finish this time than it was the first time around. Whoever had repainted the areas before, again, another before and after, I'll flash up on screen. This area, as you're looking at now, first time around, there was a ton of sander marks there um, because this edge of the door had been caught. It had been caught on the panel or the wall and then it had a, a repaint section. So there was a blend mark and a ton of sander marks. Uh, this is gonna need uh, cutting again. The whole side. Over spraying the chrome. A little bleb there. One of the burn throughs was down here. This is weird being back on the car actually. Gave me nightmares for a few days. And then every edge all the way down the side, all the way on the swage line going up. These edges, they were all burnt through. Has the bumper been painted? Yes or no? I'm gonna say yes. Lower bumper 
is a bit darker in my eyes than upper bumper. So I reckon it's been painted to the chrome. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, back on the boot lid. Overspray on the edge, a cluster of sander marks there. So here, on this lip, there is another edge that's missing. Whether that's existing and missed first time round, or new, I don't know. There's your, oops, there's your lacquer line. Finishes inside the boot shut. Oh, that's unfortunate on the chrome there. More abrasions where a sanding disc is caught. See, it's quite a sharp edge. There's been a masking problem there. Rub marks down the side of the passenger door. Uh, before I get there, this bottom corner, this white balance really, the colour, the orange, throws the camera's white balance all over the place. The bottom corner of the door, there were sander marks. So let's see if they're still there. Yeah, the sander marks still there. Okay. And then the mirror cap was pretty beat up before, and unfortunately, although this was noted at the time, it hasn't managed to be painted. My focus is struggling on the camera today, apologies. Oh, it's a bit warm in here. Right, well basically I'm gonna pick up where I left off uh, with the polishing. I don't think the bonnet needs re-correcting. That could be refined with a combination that would be sufficient. Uh, the wing door, rear wing that have been painted, are gonna need some form of rectification work. And then the boot lid bumper back down this side is as standard as originally planned, with a minor correction. Uh, before we get everything dressed, coated, it's going to be wearing Modesta's BCO4, as originally planned back four months ago. But now I'm going to do the same thing, but walk around the car with the camera on my phone and send the owner of the vehicle a quick update to sort of give them an insight as to what's been done over the last quarter. yesterday sort of just knuckled down on the near side which is the original paint from the Bentley um, factory not too much of a problem my father cutting pads Cartex 9000 cut uh, and that trend now continues across the back and down this side this side there's a lot less in terms of defects and heavier stretches to reduce or remove than the original side that's got 12,000 miles worth of abrasion and use and exposure, this is brand new paint. The near side actually, flame orange, is it does get put up quite easily, it's quite soft. So I have done some test refining with the Rupes Yellow Pad and Cartec 3000. 3000 is the cut and what I said earlier, 9000 is the refinishing polish. 
And all looks well, to be honest, but I'm gonna pull you into the offside rear quarter now and show you where we're at. It's funny being back here, to be honest, as I say, last time we saw this panel, it was a bit of a mess. Lake Country Microfiber, Cartex 3000, that's the 9000. It's a nice, easy, straightforward, single hit to get this result using the hybrid get tight to the edges. Light cluster has been cut up with the cutting, that needs refining obviously in the bottom channels and corners and the boot lid looking nice also. However with the lamp here in the corner we are able, looking pretty good, pretty good every now and again you will stumble across Stumble across the odd, random, deeper trail of pigtails. So there, that's what I need chasing. Uh, so highlight that, and really that aside, it's just the buffer trailing and holograms, or swirls, hazy. Worst part on this offside, having had the repaint, is now down on the front wing. What happened there, I don't know. It's like a, an abrasion, a burn of a pad melted, perhaps, I don't know. But that won't polish, unfortunately. Way down low, I have informed the customer. And as you can imagine at this point, they are extremely reluctant to let the car go back with any more additional paint. They just want to be able to enjoy the car now. In their ownership, they've done about 1,200 miles, because it's mostly been either here or paint shop. And as well, I found out that the paint shop is a main Bentley, uh, a main Bentley dealership. So it's been done in-house where the vehicle was purchased from. Easy for you to say. Uh, work on the offside, that's pretty much complete from the chrome up. Still got side skirts and lower door portions. And the awkward little fin, the gloss black fin down here, that's the need to tackle in. This has been painted as well. I know that much because if you come across here and you look in middle, there's a mask, oh, it's difficult to see that light. It's better. You can see there's master marks over spray. And underneath, we have a load of overspray, master marks. So, yeah, there's dirt and bits still need sorting on the here from the wash. But we can see master marks, lack of overspray on the underside, the cloudy, patchy areas here. I know it's the underside and it's going to be staring at the curb eventually, but we're going to get this nice before the car leaves. Nice chip. Good job, we got a touch up. Not looking forward to the gloss black here. Any form of polishing on that is tricky because it's so 
angular. There's so many ledges there. Uh, again, overspray. So it's dull. It's probably never been touched. How cruddy it is down the back there. Otherwise, the rest of it's looking pretty sharp. It's only when you get an area that's been cut and polished you can see actually how much overspray there is splashed over the surface. Sorry about the focus. Pause. Manual focus, there we go. A lot of overspray swirling haze thrown into the mix. And then the back portion back here. Look at that. Some good toothpickery. I'll look forward to that later. Back around the near side now, side skirt, uh, replicating the process from the off side. Ha, ah, that's a good angle. 50-50 on the gloss black. This side's actually been worse than the driver's side was, which is unusual. There's boot marks, kick marks, scuff marks. It's quite the contrast. Uh, the gloss black being delicate, being soft, being fragile, it does get extremely cut up after the cutting stage. So following the microfiber cut on both the three inch and the hybrid, and the one inch, it's had the yellow foam pad with Cartex 9000. So it's been cut and polished and it still needs refining. So this, We'll have three stages of polishing, where pretty much the most part of the orange will have two stages cut, refined, whereas this needs cut, polished, refined. That highlights it a bit better. The main light's turned off. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sometime later, that is the entire gloss black fin corrected. I'm surprised at how well these. Uh, abrasions came out to be honest. So the multiple cuts, three inch hybrid, yellow pad to refine. Got this portion, that portion, rear bumper to cut. I'll save that for tomorrow.
Fast forward five or six hours or so, the refining is now complete. The paint under there is looking seriously nice. I've been looking forward to seeing that for the last four or five months. It's been uh, a long time coming. Show you that very shortly. Just prepped the paintwork, to, well, to mask off the rubbers, the glass, and the paint to expose the fabric hood because it's now about to have the protection of light. Uh, that'll be pretty much it for the end of the day. It's uh, 20 to 6. Tomorrow is going to be Modesta's primer, Modesta BCO4, the curing process, some interior bits, and finishing touches. What a colour. <clears throat> wow. It's what we need to see. Second coat of fabric protection applied to the hood that's now going to dry naturally overnight. And then in the morning, IPA the whole car. Uh, isopropyl alcohol to strip off any remaining residues and oils before before we do the final once over with Modesta's primer. It's been three hours now since uh, Modesta's primer was removed from the surface, so it's now time to finally get a chance to lay down Modesta's BC04. It's a wet application, so using distilled water, you'll see me spray this onto the panel, and this is my first buffing cloth, so it's a wet removal. We've got to really saturate the towel, and then it's number two. Number three. Time to crack the bottle and crack on.
for today. Today is Friday. This is an AMG Mercedes C63, and that is a finished Bentley Continental GTC. <sighs> Lovely. I'm sure it's been quite obvious to you that I've not been my usual uh, chirpy self. This week I've been struggling on a bit. It's been a long week and it's a rough time for us all. The UK currently we're still back in lockdown uh, and detailing as I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate. It is a lonely uh, on your own industry as soon as the doors down the cars on the ramp you're polishing headphones on. It's a lonely industry unless you've got a team of two or three or four and I'm still yet to decide what I want to do with my details. So if you've made it through this far, thank you for your patience, thank you for watching. Uh, I wanted to really document a nice story on this one because it's the return visit for the Bentley. And from what I feel like I've filmed thus far, it's not really been on par with uh, recent episodes. But it's been showcased nonetheless, and I'm sure the owner tomorrow will be more than delighted. Don't forget to find my details over on Instagram for daily behind the scenes and updates. Like the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already to help the channel to grow. Uh, take care, stay safe, and uh, see you guys very soon.